সকলকে জানাই শুভ সন্ধ্যা এবং শুভ মহালয়ার আন্তরিক শুভেচ্ছা ইট ইস ইন্ডিড আ প্লেজার ফর মি টু অ্যানাউন্স দ্য প্রোগ্রাম স্কেডিউল অফ দিস ওয়ান্ডারফুল ইভনিং অ্যাট শিকাগো কালিপা উই উইল ফার্স্ট বিগিন বাই ফেলিসিটেটিং an extremely learned gentleman and a scholar dr r p banerji then we will have an amazing program which has been an unbroken tradition in chicago kalibari which is chundi pa and then following that we will have agamuni songs followed by by bhog evam prashad that is the schedule for the evening without further ado let me introduce a very eminent guest at chicago kalibari this evening dr r p banerji seldom we see a combination of entrepreneurship as well as spiritual finesse i have had the pleasure of uh, meeting dr banerji in person at nvc this year and uh, dr banerji has published numerous books he is the founder of ielm college and a series of institutes management institutes in kolkata and has given extensive lectures across not only india in united states and across the world in united kingdom and so on it is our honor and privilege to have dr banerji with us over here in chicago kalipari i will introduce one of the heads of our uh, bengali uh, community in chicago shubhrata garbu to please felicitate dr r p banerji <clears throat> dr banerji we are extremely proud and delighted to have you here abhi apna camera pehle pochate parbo na je aaj ke ei particular dine amra koto shobhabho ban गर्वित Thank you. Thank you. 
form of the illumination, the light. You see when your organs of vision can identify that. So pain is sometimes like you and me. In our scriptures, we have two different theories of the descendants of God. There is a theory called three different, uh, you know, forms of God having descended on earth. That is not much of a theory. But the original theory is in the Bhagavata, wherein uh, is mentioned that the God has got innumerable appearances in this creation. And of which there were 21 different phases of the appearance of God which are mentioned. And the appearance was not only limited to the human form, it had different types of forms. For example, small creatures, starting from small creatures up to the formation of an intelligent being like human being. Man. Man. Now, uh, when I'm saying man, I don't mean you know, gender in that. Man and women together. Purusha. The word the Purusha which is used in Vedas and later Vedas has got a meaning. I, I was astonished when I found Max Muller is mentioning that a male person. Uh, I understand that Max Muller didn't get into the you know, further details of it because you know, he didn't understand the, the nonsense of the things which have been mentioned in our scriptures. The Supreme, uh, if you may call him the Brahman, he is uh, not a gender specific. At Thousand Island Park, when Swami Vivekananda was conducting a meditation, he was absorbed in that. Uh, others who know you, I believe all of you know here, that enough. Uh, Swamiji was absorbed in the meditation and it, it was perceived that probably he is not in life. But then again, uh, when they understood that yes, he is dead in life, but that he is in ecstasy. Uh, after that, uh, Swamiji, the moment he had, uh, you know, for, since his back on his uh, being, he had mentioned, I was with each. Then he was asked, eat, what is that? I was with you. Then he said, I was with her. Then he said, I was with eat. Then finally he said, ease. There's no I, there's no he, there's no she, there's no identity. Ease is the existence. Existence is something which you can describe in your own ways. Our limits actually limit the existence or our perception of the existence. The existence is infinite. The existence is, you know, all profound. And even whatever be the existence that we think about is present in everything. Our sages have designed that, okay, we try to explore the truth and try to unfold the truth for the benefit of human being and for that, let us do meditation. There was a discourse between a teacher and a student, Shetaketu and his master, Gautam. Shetaketu was asking, uh, can you give an example of the existence of the Sufi? Can tell me what is his actual identity? Swaru. Then he said, okay, I'll give an example. It was a banyan tree. But uh, you know, fetch a, a small uh, fruit of that, bring it down. It was brought down. And then he said you divide it, cut it apart. Make two parts of it. See what is there inside. It was done. Bindi, seen the bar. Then it was done. And uh, after having done that, Vedakatu had observed something. Master had asked, What do you find? 
You said a small window of thing. So look, okay. you got a small window. Do you believe that this value can come out from this small? Do you think that it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's correct? He said, yes, because this is the seed. From this seed, this has come up. He said, okay, then let's go farther. So, you know, for everyone, uh, you just divide it farther. You make it, uh, you know, two parts, if you can. By a lot of, you know, for initiatives, he could. Then he said, Master, well, I don't find anything in between. It's just a void. Gadarot says, that's the ultimate reality. Is the Sahayikshanaha tat vai brahman, Sahayikshanaha tat even this Vishwa, Sahayikshanaha tat vai this Manava. Sai Shana Tadoi Vui Devata. He had this wish in his mind. And he is, you know, as I've said, is impersonal, is non identity, is non genderless. No gender in that, no gender identity in that. Some of the scholars have identified the first thing that has come on us as a kind of onslaught to the Vedic civilization and the uh, Indian spirituality, uh, which is uh, the timeline. Uh, British scholars, uh, shall you go? Can I take, take the next? Sure. Oh, that's the maximum? Okay, okay fine. Uh, so, uh, Vedic scholars have uh, identified the Vedic period as 5,000 years. And most ridiculous thing is, they have classified this Harappan civilization as pre-Rigvedic period. I give you an example and a reference that you know UNESCO uh, did come up with a project. I have you know I look forward to you if you're interested. I, I have a you know reference. I have taken you know, photograph of my books over there. It came up through uh, finally it was published in the name of Agni. Which, you know, Madhuchanta came up in the beginning saying, Oh, the fire, you get ignited within myself. At the moment I find the fire in mind within myself, I see you, I you know, experience your presence, and you be there. There is a mention that the European strip of languages are actually is a final is, is a UNESCO funded project till now until this day of 2022 there has been no larger project than this in the world so far sponsored by UNESCO it was a project which wanted to understand the action the roots of ancient civilizations in India and China Finally, they concentrated from India and they tried to identify the Vedic Jews. And uh, there are a few villages in the southern part of our country, in, in Karnataka, where have gone to people yet, as yet, even now today. People speak in Sanskrit in their you know, daily interactions, though it is a very easy and simple, almost close to Hindi, but then it's not Hindi. Uh, so from there they have taken the route back to that. So the point is, it has been mentioned. I have uh, mentioned in my Vedavikyan and Gurbhide, I mean, Rambauke, at a copy in East Yashore, when a multiple copy is difficult, that's why. I mean, I have to keep away the attack to copy Rambauke in the AC to the Shamba Hoyt. I have given an excerpt, a reference of uh, Alfred Marshall. The person who had the first chance to excavate the Harpal uh, civilization and under, who, uh, under whose uh, mastery the Harpal civilization was, you know, uh, uh, depicted as a civilization and then Rakhandash Mukherjee and others had joined the game with the team and they came up with the history. There is mention that this Harpal civilization dates back 5,000 
are, you know, prior to Christ. But again, this civilization carries forward some things which can't be, you know, for evolved over time. It takes several thousands and thousands of decades to develop this at this, you know, uh, very light and mature conditions. And therefore, the Vedic civilization can't be less than 20,000 years old. If that is so, then Zen, Tao, I mentioned this in Tokyo, that Tao, Zen, I mentioned this in Taiwan also, that, you know, these are all derived from the Vedas. I mentioned this before my Chinese, you know, scholars, you know, scholar friends and, uh, you know, uh, Kimberley's in a forum, that, you know, this uh, Lao Tse Confucius, I mentioned that in my uh, but it is totally, thoroughly dedicated to God. I mean, for the uh, caption, I mean, for the 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 caption, I If you would think that you have an idea of, you know, thought for God, I would suggest that why don't you get into that. The point is, you know, we have the Rig Vedas. Rig Vedas is for Abhaham, is for invocation. Invocating God. Oh God, you come to me. Oh God, you come to my life. Oh God, you come and dress in me so that in my thoughts, my actions, my entire consciousness is deluged in your, you know, uh, conscious presence. That's the Rig Vedas. Om Bhagne Manusi Pratishthita Manahome Bhaji Pratishthita Then the sage says Abhi Abhi Medi Abhi means you come and appear before me Abhi Bhutaho Abhi Bhutaho Bhutai where? Abhi Abhi Medi I am praying before you You come and appear before me When? When? When I am woken When I am into my work there is a wrong concept propagated by many monks. I've seen monks, Hindu monks, and also the Buddhist monks. I'm saying this, if anyone has a protest at any point, I actually welcome that. Actually, I want to welcome that. I told this before uh, uh, to the you know, president of a very renowned uh, institution, a monastery in near Kolkata. He was very ill at that time. I told him, Maharaj, you have made a difference. Why have you done this? This Greek Indian Shonashi, you have created a, a you know, a, a, a kind of barrier that Greek can't have a cultural is loses. He said, no, Thakur Bola said, Kamini Kanchu. I said, Swamiji, you should have objected to this use of word Kamini. Master Master has changed so many words. But she he has not changed this word coming. Why? The ladies, coming means the is the ladies are the centers of attraction only. Are they not the mothers? Are they not the supreme embodiment of the supreme mother? So Thakur Sri Ramakrishna had worship, you know, for uh, Sharada Devi as a you know mother. So she he, he considers him a mother. So the point is if the human civilization has to grow. Then it has to grow in the line of, you know, you have to walk and you have to walk consistently, intensely. Thakur Bolachan gave an example when the, you know, Shashuri Putra Bodhu. Putra Bodhu Jokhan Mahave, when she is carrying, then the mother in law, you know, reduces the load of walk from her. Yes, that's good. But then what does that mean? Sri Ramakrishna wanted to mention that you know that at that time the ritualistic works are not that much required. You think of God, you have a God, you create a love for God. Then that was the thing which was mentioned in our Samgedas, Yogini, Tatwamshi, Tatwamshi. You are there, I am there. What is that? You are the embodiment of God, you are there presenting me, I am worshipping you. I am worshipping you for what? I am worshipping you because I wish that you be presenting me. I pray that you be presenting me. 
when you be presenting me, then what I get? I get the complete realization. Where is the difference here? You know, person's living style, person's form of life, person's, you know, positions of work, kind of work. There's no difference. None of this, you know, during our Vedic period, there was a thing called convocation. In Sanskrit, called Samavartan. Samavartan, what was that? Yankavartu was having a Samavartan of 10,000 students at a time. The first, world's first university was there in India, was, you know, headed by a sage called Yankavartu, and the number of students were 10,000. It is there in our, you know, Shukla Jayur Veda. Shavika is there, he knows this. And I'm, maybe, you know, many of you might be right. And I'm that in the Samavartu, there was a promise, which we, these days we make the promise when the students get a master's. Uh, you know, we have a lot of students, MBA students passing out, and what do you do? When we uh, award the certificate, we make them, you know, uh, uh, together we make a promise. It's a collective promise. What is that now? Uh, we be abide by the principles of the university, the institution. What was the inner here? The sages used to tell, Saityan Bada, Dharma Charaha. You always maintain truth. Where is the you know difference between India and other countries in the world? Where is the country? Where is the religion? Where is the you know sect? There is no sect. And it was said, Anant Shanti. You have to penetrate into the society as a part of the society. You are now graduating from this, so you become a person of the society. You, why? Because you need to create a new civilization. And that new civilization requires a new breed of people. You are the good people. You will generate a new breed of people. Then where is the problem? A person who is dead, the family can't worship God, can't attain the realization of God. Yes, anybody can. Anybody with any kind of work can. And the last point that I want to mention, there is a you know point mentioned against India that ancient India there are a lot of you know uh, uh, problems with the ladies and social you know caste even was there. This is something I'm mentioning the name with authority that you know for this uh, some people from Jainu group. They are like, you know, okay, I have mentioned the name. Uh, uh, this uh, Ramila Thapa and Ifan Havi, this group. What they have done is, uh, they have depicted that, you know, the uh, anti-ladies was there. Totally wrong concept. I challenge, I am asking the question to the world community. Can you show me any place, any stream of knowledge where the contribution of ladies were there in the ancient period? I am giving an answer, Greek Vedas. Out of 107, 107 sages of the Greek Vedas, 29 ladies were there. Sri Ramachandra is entering into the, you know, for the place of Atri. Anushwa Devi is there. She was the wife of, you know, Atri. But she was never less than Atri. Atri, she was never less than Atri. Ramachandra comes to Anishwadi, Balmiki Maharaj writes, the mother, bless me. Bless me for God. So that in a thousand of years I can remain in, the, in your place and I find when I was entering, I find the words were singing the name of God. The air was flowing, I was getting the name of God. I was finding that the Lord Shiva's rhythm is there everywhere in the Nataraj. I was finding that and I feel that, you know, this is the place where I can continue for eternal time, time, you know, unlimited. Well, so therefore, you know, that, where is the point? Ladies were highly respected and they were not only respected as a secondary person, they had their original contributions. 29 women sages have their own contributions starting from Adi Vedas, the period of Vashishta, Atri, Angira, you know, Vriku, from that period. And the last point that I want to mention is that he is, uh, you know, mentioning about India that there was a casteism. No, it is absolutely wrong. 
India's casteism has emerged from the medieval, early medieval period when India was conquered by the Mughals and Patras. Prior to that, there was no casteism in India. I am giving an example. Vajdev, the one of the most profound sage in our civilization. He is the son of Parashat Shatrava. Parashat, Parashat Shatrava is a Karnaba, that's a very important. Shatravati was a daughter of a fisherman. Vajdev's inheritance is from that community. And there are so many things, so many examples. So then, uh, uh, yeah, thank you so much. It's a nice way of getting to my love. I problem with this Vedic civilization and Shujo I know. I to, you know, keep track of my, you know, watch. But again, this is a nice place that you have very so many programs. I uh, offer my gratitude to everyone in this program. I just mentioned that this casteism, this caste divisions was only Chatur Bhadnam Maya Sishta Karma Vimakasha, which Lord Krishna has mentioned to Arjuna. That was the only policy. There was no inheritance casteism in our country. Thank you very much. And uh, I uh, convey my thanks and gratitude to everyone who gave me the you know, chance to come here and offer my program to Makali here and to, you know, have a you know, uh, golden chance to meet you all and particularly to meet you Thank you. I mean, about it, which is so very special. Thank you so much for coming here. And we hope you will be able to spend more time with us. During this time, if you can be here, we can win up and discuss. Thank you so much for coming. Shabhi, are you fighting like that? No. Stand up, because stand up. Shabhi, who does not have a...